Hey there, crypto enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, Ripple's XRP and its ongoing legal battle with the US Securities and Exchange Commission, commonly known as the SEC. Before we get into the current situation, let's quickly recap what Ripple and XRP are all about. Ripple is a technology company that developed a digital payment protocol designed to enable fast, secure, and cost-effective cross-border transactions. XRP is the native cryptocurrency that facilitate these transactions. Traditional cross-border transactions often involve multiple intermediaries, resulting in high fees and delays. XRP aims to address these issues by serving as a bridge currency between different fiat currencies. When using XRP, two parties can transact directly with each other, eliminating the need for multiple intermediaries and reducing costs and settlement times. RippleNet enables participants to connect and exchange value using XRP as a bridge currency. The network includes features like the XRP ledger, a decentralized blockchain, and the Interledger protocol, which facilitates interoperability between different payment systems. One of the key benefits of using XRP as a bridge currency is its speed and scalability. XRP transactions settle in a matter of seconds, making it significantly faster than traditional banking systems, which often take several days for cross-border transfers. Additionally, XRP can handle a high volume of transactions per second, making it suitable for large-scale global payments. It's important to note that while XRP is often associated with Ripple Labs, however they are distinct entities. In December 2020, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs, Chris Larson, and Brad Garlinghouse, alleging that they conducted an unregistered securities offering by selling XRP. The ongoing SEC case against Ripple has a significant influence on XRP's price because it introduces regulatory uncertainty and potential legal ramifications for the cryptocurrency. Additionally, the SEC's lawsuit has resulted in some cryptocurrency exchanges delisting or suspending trading of XRP to comply with regulations or mitigate legal risks. The SEC argues that XRP should be classified as a security, similar to a stock or bond, and thus should have been registered with the Commission. Ripple and its executives have vehemently denied the SEC's allegations, and have been actively defending themselves in court. Their primary argument is that XRP is not a security, but rather a digital asset used for facilitating efficient cross-border transactions. However, since then, there have been some noteworthy developments. Ripple's defense team has made several significant strides. Among other things, getting access to internal SEC conversations and papers, while awaiting for the infamous Hinman's emails. This access could potentially shed light on how the SEC determines whether a cryptocurrency is a security. Also, the outcome of this case has broader implications for the entire cryptocurrency industry. If the court rules in favor of Ripple, it could provide clarity and regulatory certainty for other cryptocurrencies as well as potentially reshape how the SEC classifies and regulates digital assets. Following the resolution of the SEC court case, prominent analysts are predicting various prices per XRP, with projections for this digital currency ranging from $589 to as high as $35,000 or more. It is also important to note that XRP has a steadfast community that firmly believes in the potential of XRP as a digital asset. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this overview of Ripple's XRP and the SEC situation informative. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned for other exciting topics in the crypto world. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.